Hey everybody, welcome back. So, um, when last we were adventuring together, I was just having a little look around to see if there's any more surface iron. Um, when it generates on the surface, it's really easy to get. You don't have to do anything dangerous for it, you know. It's, uh, it's good to have. But I don't really see a lot around this area. Um, very little, in fact. So, let's just have a little bit more of a look around and see what we can see. I think we're going to check out that boat in the... Oh, oh, oh! More iron. Yes! Is it just two? Mm, looks like it. Okay, well, that's fine. Good. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take whatever we can get. It's uh, more important to me than diamonds right now, so... Not a big deal. We will definitely go caving and exploring to find some more iron. In the meantime, though, I think we'll probably need to make two shovels. Uh, because of those islands out there, they definitely have some sand. I'm going to want to get some sand so we can make some glass and use the glass to decorate the base. Get a smoker ready as well because I want to be able to uh, smoke some stuff when I get back. Mm, yeah, let's use that extra wool and make a painting. <laughs> Use that for decoration as well. And I think a boat. Definitely a boat, because I don't really feel I don't fancy swimming all the way over to that island. So let's go see what treasures we can find in the boat here. Now, through the game, of course, like drowning is a real issue. So what I often tend to do is I will uh I will use, you know, I will use a door. So when you place a door underwater, it actually crea creates a pocket of air, which is very, very helpful for not drowning. So that's probably what I'm going to do here today. So let's bring that with me, and let's go have a look. Now, there's often two or three chests in a... Uh, in any given one here. So let's just pop down that door somewhere. Sneak into it. Breathe again. And then we'll go check out the chest. Oh, score! Look at all this iron and lapis. And a diamond! Yay! Let's leave some junk in that chest there. All right. Okay, fill up on air. Mm, watch out for the drowned. Go into swimming mode. And let's go down into the hole and see what we can find here. Oh, good. Must remember to breathe. Uh, okay, some bread and suspicious stew. Um, I'm always suspicious of suspicious stew because we don't know what kind of effect it'll have on us, but it is kind of fun. I think I'll take the leather hat too. Just leave all my extra junk in the chest there. All right, we have a hat. Snazzy, right? Okay. Uh, let's take that again. Might as well actually take the chest. I could use more chests. Uh, but I might not be able to pick it up wherever it is. Because my inventory is full. All right. Let's, oh, there's already a naturally occurring door here. Hmm. Leg? That's weird. Maybe just wait a second and try again. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay. <gasps> Books. Excellent. I need those. And in theory, a treasure map. Awesome. Okay, we can go hunt for some buried treasure. Those always have really good things in the chests. Let's just get rid of some of this other stuff here. Actually, I did not pick up that other chest, so I'm going to try doing that now. Just going to sneak over, make sure I toss out things I don't want to have. Chest probably. There we go. And then maybe we'll just go grab that other chest in the other room, because I don't think I got it the last time. There we go. Good, good. 
Okay. All right. A uh, little bit more. Whoops. A little bit more error. And let's head back up. Oh, this was the most painless excursion into a boat I've done in a long time. So that's pretty good. Ah, oh, I like that hill. There's lots of stuff over there too. Um, looks like dark oak and birch. Okay. Very good. So let's uh, let's do this. This is new in Minecraft 1.19. It's something I totally love. It's a chest boat. So you can actually, um, if you shift and right click on it, you can open up the chest on the boat and put your things into there. So this is really fantastic because previously in Minecraft, uh, the only way you could haul extra stuff with you was either to have a mule or a llama, I guess, uh, with storage space or shulker boxes. And shulker boxes are definitely not something we are going to get in the first few episodes. Ah. Uh, Hang on, there's no X on the map. Mm, normally there's an X on here that says X marks the spot somewhere. I don't see that. So... Huh. I think that's a bug. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to look up and see if there's a bug reported to Mojang. And uh, if there is, maybe there's a workaround or a fix so I can change that treasure map to be an actual treasure map with treasure on it. Uh, that's really weird. It must be a bug with the uh, generation of the world somehow. Oh, well. Uh, let's see if we can uh, harvest some wonderful sand here because we're going to need it for glass. And... I'm going to harvest probably most of this island, including the gravel, just because it really bothers me when water sources are not, you know, there. <laughs> uh, when you harvest the layers of um, sand in the ocean, if you don't do it right, you'll end up with spots of water that are always flowing. Um, so I like to avoid that. And in order to avoid that, I just make sure that I clear out enough of the area that uh, it will continue to, you know, fill itself in without any issues. So, once again, being a good responsible citizen, not uh, tearing apart the world totally. I mean, I'm going to tear it apart, but I like to leave it in a situation where it doesn't look awful. So yeah, I guess the trick to that is just make sure that just make sure that you allow the water to fill itself in via the mechanic where you can create infinite water sources. So if you have two blocks that are diagonal to each other, they'll fill in the diagonal blocks between them, which is basically what I was trying to do there. So that's why the uh, cutting it off in a square pattern in the water is good. Always work from a corner. Expert tip. Uh, I think I want to maybe get a little bit of wood here. So let's find our way up there and uh, do a little tree harvesting. Actually, if I'm going to be honest, I really want saplings. Uh, the wood's a bonus right now, but I want to bring some saplings back so I can plant them closer to the base. Definitely... Uh, Definitely going to need wood. And dark oak is kind of nice because it uh, generates in a fairly big size, but it's pretty easy to harvest as opposed to other trees where you have to get all the way up to the top, like jungle wood or, uh, or spruce. They grow super tall, and they're two by two. So, like, the trunks are huge, but you basically have to work your way all the way up to the top when you're harvesting them. Dark oak, you only have to go up about three or four blocks, and you should be able to reach all of the uh, all of the branches inside. But you get a lot out of each dark oak tree, right? So. Anyways, it's starting to get dark, and uh, of course the the night is dark and full of terrors, such as zombies, creepers, skeletons, spiders, witches, endermen. Oh my. So yeah, 
Let's uh, see what we can get away with here without getting killed. And uh, bring back what we have to the base, and then we'll do a little bit more, more work around there. This axe is probably going to croak soon. Any time now. Or it's going to last long enough. Okay, so I've separated the trunk from all of the leaves, and when you do that, then the leaves themselves start to decay. So if you want to uh, try and you know, maximize your, there's the axe. Uh, try to maximize the time that you spend uh, while harvesting. That's probably the best way to do it. Now, I'm going to need four saplings, so I think we're good. Once again, I don't want to punch trees anymore, so uh, <laughs> make another axe really quickly and try and collect the rest of this. Oh, there's a creeper back there. Lots of good saplings. Uh, sticks are also nice as well. Why don't we... just for fun. Yeah. See if we can get the creeper to do some work for us here. There we go. <laughs> A couple more dark oak. Ah! Spider. More zombies coming. Oh, that's a baby one. Run away! I hate baby zombies. They're so fast and they're small. They're harder to hit. And if you're in a field with grass and you try to hit them, you hit the grass first and then they come and hit you anyways. So anyways, let's, uh, let's not hang around that neighborhood. Okay, so we'll just uh, roar our way home here. Hopefully we... Ooh. More sand. Plus it bothers me how that's sticking up. Anyways, carrying on. Um, hopefully there aren't any drowned in the water that are uh, looking around to uh, shoot at people. Uh, one of the dangers at nighttime in a boat is drowned. So a drowned is a zombie that's been underwater long enough um, that turns into a basically a drowned zombie. But if it spawns as a drowned zombie in the water, which they do at nighttime, um, and daytime I think as well, sometimes they have a trident. And if they have a trident that zombie is going to be, drowned zombie, sorry, that drowned zombie is going to be aggressive towards you. And a trident can break a boat, which would be awful in our situation. All of our loot and stuff would, like, fly everywhere. And, yeah, not not cool. Oh, I hear a zombie somewhere. It's probably upstairs. Uh, not sure how far upstairs. Maybe we'll have a quick look. Or maybe not. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll move the bed. <laughs> so if if there's mon if there are monsters close to you, you uh, can't sleep, obviously. So sometimes when that happens, I just try to... Oh, there it is. Let's just take care of it. If it ever comes back up. Oh, another one, too. Mm. Okay, let's make it easy for them. Still too close. 
Oh, sounds like one of them turned into a drowned. <laughs> they have a horrible sound. How about this? I will uh, dig further into the mountain, hopefully away from them. And uh, we'll just try plopping down the bed and see what happens there. They can't get into the base as it is. So, I'm not super worried about them. Okay. There we go. That's far enough away. Okay. Brand new day. Let's see where things are at now. Um, <laughs> there's that horrible sounding drowned. Let's open our makeshift door there. Ugh, get rid of that. It's in the way. All right. Well, they don't seem to be coming out and coming at me, so we'll just uh, leave that for now. Grab this. Oh, there's more. I'm gonna use this coal probably for smelting. Ah, that just broke. Okay. Gonna use this one. Uh, oh, that's the water. Okay, let's fill that in. For now, um, I'll eventually want to put some smooth stone on there just so it doesn't look all cobbly like that. Okay, so this is some dried kelp that I had left earlier <coughs> before coming out on this adventure. Let's get some other stuff smelting. And a smoker. As you can see, I've collected a little bit of seaweed from the ocean. So uh, I'm going to probably smelt some seaweed, uh, more seaweed to use for food. And these are the treasures that I brought back from the, uh, from the ship there. Books are going to be nice. I'm going to use those to make an enchanting table and bookshelves for my enchanting area. Later on, not right now. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here probably may not make a lot of sense to some people, but just bear with me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up just so that in the future... I can have the uh, the smoker more automated. Right now, um, I don't have enough iron to spend on hoppers, although I'm tempted to. But um, what I'll do is I'll have a chest. I'll fill that up with seaweed and uh, or kelp, I should say. And then uh, the hopper will draw it out of the chest and put it into the smoker. And then the smoker will smoke it, of course. And then hopefully another hopper will take it from the smoker and put it down into a chest below. So... Not at the moment, but that is the future plan. Now, let's go outside with that uh, freshly smelted stone <laughs> and uh, see if we can make the mountainside look a little bit better here. I think we'll just put one there and one there. Here, that'll cover it up. Should be okay. Okay, let's uh, tidy ourselves up a little bit. Um... In my bases, I usually tend to make three chests. Well, then the one on the top are for things that you use. The one in the middle is for construction materials and blocks, and the bottom one is generally for stuff like uh, minerals that you've mined. You know, so yeah, top chest is for treasures and things like that as well. So, just my way of keeping organized. I'm sure everybody has their own uh, system, so feel free to pick whatever you like. Now let's make some glass. because we're going to want to try and put some glass blocks in here so we can have uh, something of a window just sitting outside. A little bit of room in our inventory here. There, that's better. So much better. Might as well put all this stuff away, too. Okay, uh, gotta take a 
this stone out. That's silly. And there's the iron. Like that. And kelp is just working away. So yeah, I've got a nice little amount of iron here. Probably use it for some important stuff like a bucket. <laughs> Actually, why not make a piece of armor? I think that's uh, long overdue. And yeah, let's do two pickaxes. There we go. We'll get more iron for sure, but uh, that's that's how I want to spend it right now. All right, <coughs> get some sticks, make some torches. Yeah, good start. And probably some more junky stone pickaxes, just because I don't mind if those ones bust. The uh, the iron ones I want to save for the important stuff like redstone and diamonds. Let's start uh, using some of the glass we've made here. Not quite sure how I want this to look, but um, I'll fiddle around with it and see what it looks like. something to do with these edges. I might have it all glass the whole way, but we'll see. I'll have to just sort of organize it and see how it goes. Kind of like the idea of it all being glass because it looks good, but we'll see. Save that uh, important coal for other purposes. I think I'll go off camera for a little bit, do a little bit of uh, clearing out and some glass placing, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, well, I think we got a few things done here. I'm pretty happy with uh, the progress that we've made with the uh, cave and a uh, little bit of adventuring that we've done outside. So anyways, I hope that you have a very good day. Thank you for joining us for this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care, stay safe and healthy. Cheers. <laughs>